This is the homework for lesson 26. We're in module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name first. Partition the number line to show the fractional units and then draw the number bonds with copies of one whole for the circle whole numbers. So we need sixths. That's our fractional unit. So between 0 and 1 we need 6 sixths. And that's not exactly perfect, isn't it? Because this last sixth is pretty big. But it's as close as it's going to be going to be able to get it, I think. You want to try and get them to look mostly equal. Or pretty close to equal. Best that you can do. All right. So uh, then... Uh, Draw a number bond, so 0 is 0 sixths. And, you know, I could label this number line like that. Uh, just, you know, labeled all the uh, sixths that I marked out. If you're still not confident at recognizing where whole numbers, uh, the new, where the numerators have to, have to be to match up to whole numbers, if you don't already just, if you're not already confident at that, then you can just label all the fractions just like that. Uh, and you can see that it's six sixths, and this is two holes is the same as twelve sixths. And so I need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So that's six sixths. And for 0, 6, there's no number bond to draw because it's nothing. How do you draw a picture of nothing? I just did. Okay. Now we're at fifths. And this is 2 and 3 and 4. But in between each whole number, there's got to be 5 parts. So I'm going to guess. And that last one is still pretty big. But it's not bad. takes four marks to make fifths in between whole numbers. And if I wanted, I could label them all. But if you're really sticking to that strategy of labeling every single fraction on the line and then in looking at it that way, you really have to look at the whole numbers for where you start because we don't always start at zero. This time here, we're starting at 2. So that means you're starting at 10 fifths when you start labeling. There, I've labeled them all. And you'll notice this, that when they match up with whole numbers, look, 10, 15, 20, they're multiples of 5. So 2 holes is 10 fifths. 3 holes is 15 fifths, and 4 holes is 20 fifths. And now, I'm going to label these. 2, I need 2 parts here. 5 fifths and 5 fifths. 3 is going to have three parts of five-fifths each, and four is going to have four parts of five-fifths for each part. And this is what they look like. I figured out that it's easier to write the fractions first and then draw the circles around them, because when I draw the circles first in these fraction bonds, I always make them too small, and I don't have room to write the fractions inside them. Write the fractions that name the whole numbers for each fractional unit. The first one has been done for you. So the whole numbers. So for thirds, that would be 6 thirds, 9 thirds, and 12 thirds. 6 thirds is 2 wholes. 9 thirds is 3 wholes. And 4, 
for four holes, it's 12 thirds. So if you look at this, we're counting by, we're counting by threes. So if we're counting by sevens, starting at two sevens, think about it. These are going to be sevenths, right? If you count by sevens, it's seven, 14, 21, 28. And if you count by eighths, not counting the first eight, it's eight, 16, 24, 32. And if you're counting tenths, one of the easier ones to count, it's 10, 20, 30, 40. Ryder dribbles the ball down one third of the basketball court on the first day of practice. Each day after that, he dribbles one third of the way more than he did the day before. Draw a number line to represent the court. Okay, so we have to draw a number line. Partition the number line to represent how far he dribbles on day one, day two, and day three of practice. What fraction of the way does he dribble on day three? So we have to draw a number line. All right. And uh, that's the court. So Ryder must... He's having a hard time dribbling the ball down the basketball court because you only get one third. Okay, so on the each day after that, he dribbles one third of the way more than he did the day before. So we need thirds. That's about as good as I can get them for thirds. So this would be zero. One third, two thirds of the court, three thirds of the court. So, on his first day of practice, he only gets one third of the way. Maybe before he kicks the ball by accident or something, or something else happens. So, he gets a one third of the way, and this is day, this is the first day. So I'll just call it day one. Now day two, he gets one another third of the way. So in day two, he gets across half court. Right, so remember day two, he's actually he's starting at the he's starting at the baseline and he makes it all the way past half court and he gets to two thirds of the way across the court. And then day third, he gets another third. He gets all the way to the other baseline. This is day three. Day three, he got to three thirds. So what fraction of the way does he dribble on day three? On day three, so he drew a number line to represent the court, right? I'll label it court length. And uh, I partitioned it. And I showed uh, how far he dribbled on day one, on day two, and on day three. Uh, so on day three, and this is what fraction of the way he drew. I could say the whole court, but it says it's a fraction. So I'm going to write, I could write, uh, one whole, or I could write three thirds. On day three, he dribbled three thirds. Love the distance. Across the court. 